Let's start lesson 12 light sound and force learning objectives light sound force let's start learning light sound and force are the three energies that play a very important role in our daily life come let's read further to know more about them light light is a form of energy which enables us to see the around us without light our universe would be a very dark and scary place to live in. There are two main types of lights, namely natural light and artificial light. The sun is the natural and main source of light on the earth. It is called luminous object. It also gives us heat. We can see with the sunlight in the daytime, but at night the sun disappears, so we need man-made or artificial sources of light. They help us to see in the dark. Some objects like candle, bulb, tube light and lamp are some examples of artificial light. Another natural source of light is fire. It also helps us to see in the dark. Sun, candle, bulb, dia. Natural lights, artificial lights. For the teacher, Explain the children about different sorts of light. Also discuss with them about noise and its effects. Also explain about force and friction. Fact time. The objects which have their own light are called luminous objects like sun, candle, etc. Shadow. A shadow is a dark shape or spot that appears on a surface when someone or something comes between the surface and the source of light. It is formed when an opaque object blocks the path of the light. The shadows are different in size during different times of the day. In the morning and evening, the shadow is long, while at noon it becomes small. The shadow is long in the morning and evening. The shadow is short at noon. Let's perform an experiment to learn about shadow. Materials required a long stick and measuring tape. Procedure On a bright sunny day, take a long stick and put it straight in the middle of the playground. Now, using a measuring tape, measure the length of the shadow of the stick and note it in your notebook. Then, come back in the noon and measure the shadow again and note in your notebook. Then again come back in the evening and measure the shadow and record. What do you observe? You will see that the shadow in the morning and in the evening will be the longest and in the noon will be the shortest. Hence, we can conclude that the length of the shadow changes with the change in the time of the day. Shadow Shadow Try your bits. Collect the pictures of artificial lights and paste them here in the given box. Sound What is sound? Sound is a form of energy which enables us to hear. When we talk, we make sound. There are many sounds which we hear the whole day long. The ring of a telephone, the cry of a baby, the ringing of school bell, playing of music, etc. All these things make sound. Some sounds are soft and pleasant which soothe us while some sounds are harsh and loud which irritate us. Telephone, bell, crying baby, Music player Sounds is produced when objects vibrate. The vibration makes the air around vibrate and the air vibrations enter our ear. We hear them as sounds. We cannot always see the vibrations, but if something is making a sound, some part of it is always vibrating. Sometimes you feel irritated with some sounds like when all the students in a class start talking simultaneously. This sound is known as noise. Too much of noise disturbs us and is not good for our health. Hence, we should speak one by one and politely. We should also hear the sound of television, music player at low volume as loud volume can damage our ears. Force A force can be a push or a pull. It is not something you can see or touch but can see it in action. It helps us to move things from their place. When you push or pull the door, throw a ball 
or ride your bicycle you apply force child pulling a toy child pushing the door cricketer stopping a ball you must have observed that when you roll a ball it stops itself after traveling a distance do you know why the ball stops it stops due to a special force called friction Friction is a force that slows down the movement of an object. When you push or pull a thing, the force of friction should be more so that the thing should stop. If the force of friction is less, the things will not stop and slide down. Let's learn it with an example. Take a ruler and keep it on the table. Then strike the ruler with your fingers. Note how far does it go. Now put some talcum powder and then strike it again note how far it goes you will observe that with the talcum powder it goes much far than before so we conclude that less friction enables the thing to slide down let's revise light sound and force are the three energies the sun is the natural and main source of light on the earth when we talk we make sound A push or pull is known as force. Force is not something you can see or touch but can see it in action. Friction stops the moving objects. Points to remember. Natural things made by God. Artificial things made by man. Noise sound that irritates us. Friction a force that slows down the movement of an object.